Morning everybody. This is something new for me this winter. We're back at it. Christmas is over and we're on the countdown to next Christmas. This Christmas season I was able to install my new steering wheel that I got from Jim as well as the matching shifter knob here. I still got to clean up the cables a little bit, but figured that out. Didn't know how to do that before. Now I know how to do that. I got a little bit of a wind coming out of the south here. So it looks like my steering wheel is not quite centered because I got to give it a little bit of extra pull this way so that the wind doesn't push me onto the shoulder but if that continues to be like that next time I'm home I'll have to adjust the steering wheel just a little bit so that it's centered a little better but I think it'll be just fine I'm bobtailing I'm on my way to pick up a empty step deck 53 foot we're gonna go to Kenora put some lumber on it go down to Minnesota we're gonna be working hard now until the baby's born. Just quickly getting settled into the truck. I don't have a lot of time. I have an empty step deck behind me, just like I told you. We got the new steering wheel. We got the new gear shifter put on here to match. I have the blue bar for on here as well, but I'm just gonna hold off on installing that for now until I can get a cover uh, for down here. So it'll be a nice cover down there and then blue. Otherwise it'll be like blue and chrome. So I just decided to keep it chrome all the way up for now but that's fine just the way it is i have the other piece in my shop i also got a kettle from my wife for christmas just like i was hoping for so we're back to making coffee in here and making food in here and that's a one liter kettle the other one was only a 500 milliliter so half of that so i got double the amount of water now uh, or double the amount of hot water in the truck so i can make soup and coffee at the same time Right on. Let's go to Kenora, let's pick up our load. And let's get down to Minnesota tonight yet before it starts snowing or something crazy like that. Really love this steering wheel. I think it suits the truck great. It's got the, the blue LEDs in the back as well. I'm getting a few more of those to put under the dash in the front here as well. That's a pro upcoming project. Uh, I've got my extra, <laughs> extra, plug outlets here now a nice little blue one to match the truck with uh, little buttons there so I can turn them on and off that way I don't have to constantly you know dig between my cups here to get to the the lighter plugs there plug in the phone charge that up buckle ourselves in so we don't fall out we're we're off we are officially off Christmas vacation now. I didn't book any time off for New Year's, so if we get home for New Year's, we do. If not, that's okay, I didn't book it off. It's on the weekend, so we'll see what happens. We're leaving our yard near Ile de Chaine right now. It's about a two hour drive to Kenora. And we'll be driving into the night tonight. Probably get to Brainerd around 10 o'clock tonight or so. Or, or maybe a little earlier, we'll see. Hopefully nothing goes wrong and our border clearance goes through in a timely fashion. The next time I have booked off is paternal leave. March 17th. So like you all know, Britt's due date, our first baby, is April 1st. That's also my birthday, so I'm about to get the best birthday present ever. 
But uh, I'm going to be taking off two weeks before that, just in case the baby comes early. Also to make sure the nursery is prepared and ready. And that we are prepared and ready and that Brit is prepared and ready. And then we'll see how the birth goes. If I only need to take two weeks off after the birth, that's great. If not, then uh, I'll take another four weeks after the birth. So it'll be a total of six weeks and then it'll be back to work. So until then, I'm gonna be working my hiney off to make sure that we can uh, financially swing that. We shouldn't have any problems and we should be good. It is our slow season here at work, but we'll make it work. getting the sticks put on the flatbed here right now I've got 12 of these eight footer stacks we got two four six of them on here so far so half of them and then I have four more stacks of nine footers I think that are going on top of these here losing our sunlight out here already but that's okay then we will work in the dark I've called ahead to the receiver down in Minnesota 
They're expecting me there tomorrow late morning to closer to close to noon, maybe a bit early. Doesn't really matter. It's first come, first serve anyways, but they like to know that we're coming. And he knows me. All I got to do is uh, I'm Josh, Blue Kenworth, Blue Tarps. He knows then that I'm one of the guys that'll help him. <sighs> that I won't just sit in my truck and unload. I'll help him get the dunnage off the trailer and make things go as quickly as possible for both of us. I, say, I hope that's the reputation I'm earning there. That's what I try anyway. So we've got eight on here right now. Not done tying it down obviously, but uh, once he comes with the rest of it, we'll work on that. It's a little bit slow moving here. I think he's got to dig my stuff out from underneath everything. There's two more going on top of that there yet. So I was able to quickly snap this hub cover on this morning yet. So that's fixed. I have another one to replace the other side because that one has a little bit of a dent in it. It was like that when I bought it, but no big deal. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh yeah, you can see it. Bit of a dent in there. I got one to replace this too. I can do this either that either tonight or tomorrow morning. Sometime on this trip. I'll just have it inside the door here. It's uh, right there. I took care of the other one first because the other one had actually popped off. So that was a lot more obvious, right? A lot more obvious than that wasn't on there. We got that fixed up. We got the steering wheel installed. We got the shift knob installed. Making progress. Good, the good kind of progress. As for my marker lights, they were delivered today, but I didn't have time to run and get them. Obviously we're working. So these fenders, fender signals will be replaced as well as all the marker lights on top of the cab and on top of the sleeper. That'll look pretty nice. That'll be a project for the next time I'm at the shop and have time. <laughs> Whenever that'll be. And then these will be replaced with clear lens LEDs as well. I already have them uh, marked off on Amazon. Unless I find a better deal on them somewhere. straps on there just to hold the tarps down they're not actually holding the load down they're just stopping the tarps from flapping too much and that's that we got to get going we're already cleared at the border so our customs broker is on the ball once again thank you very much appreciate that ah. About six hours away, so it's seven o'clock. We'll get there after midnight. Yay! Great! <laughs> Loving the steering wheel. It's hard to keep it clean, though. Hard to keep it clean. Well, I got some dirt on it. <laughs> got to keep those fingerprints off of it. It's hard because I touch it all the time. Kind of have to, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think it looks way better. I got a comment on, uh, was it on Instagram? Uh, one of you was telling me, now I need to replace all the wood paneling in here with blue. Like that would be this piece in here, around there, the little pieces on the door there. I love that idea. I think I'm gonna go with that. See if I can. See if I can get uh, replacement trim that matches this blue. Has to be the same blue, otherwise it's gonna look weird. Cause this matches the paint on the outside of the truck, right? And it also matches my, uh, my sleeper theme. Matches the whole truck theme. That's why the truck is called Old Blue. Because it's old and it's blue. Let's get out of here. It's going to be a bit of a late night. At least we're trucking. I'm coming. It's a lonely road. Come on, Old Blue, sing your song down this lonely road.
we're sitting at about 79,000 pounds gross. It's pretty well split between my, my axles with my drive axles being slightly heavier. It gives me better traction. So we can climb up these snowy hills and not gotta worry about spinning out. The steering wheel is very comfortable to, to hold too. The other one was a little thinner. It was a little worn out too, but it was a little thinner. This one's a little bit, just feels a little bit better in my hands, you know? I think I might have to realign it just slightly to the right though. Very slightly. I think it's just a little off center, a little bit too like pointed to the left a little bit. But, well, we'll do a whole trip on it, see how it is. Maybe it's just my eyes now. It's an easy fix if it is if it is a problem. They put up a nice big new sign over here uh, to all the transport trucks. No engine brakes down this little road. Apparently, a lot of us have been. Uh, singing the song of our people past these residences here a little too often. Now they said, nope, no more. No more singing here, guys. Gotta wait till you get to that road down there. That's, the, that's Trans Canada. You can sing all you want down there. Believe me, we will be. You just can't sing down this little, little downhill here. This is where I always like to. So once again, I'm going to be crossing from Fort Francis, Ontario into International Falls, Minnesota. I hope nobody's coming. This is that blind corner. Uh, at night, it's a little bit better because you can see their, their lights coming around the corner, if they are, before you see them. feels good to be rolling again. That, that's for sure. In one kilometer, slide right on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 11.
I'm gonna take my tarps off out here this time. Cause there's three guys inside already, all waiting to get unloaded. And one guy has to get reloaded. So it's gonna be a little while. So in the meantime, they said I can take these off out here. It's a nice, warm, calm day. Not a big deal. We'll get these off and then we'll just get ourselves unloaded. Four more lifts to go. Then I gotta back out. So we're gonna end today's vlog here and we'll serve tomorrow's from the same spot. So don't forget to subscribe and tune in tomorrow. We're heading to Duluth, Minnesota from here.